Hey Astro Kids and welcome back. And in today's video we'll be talking about the moon in the 12th house. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. So before we start, you first want to understand what sign is the moon positioned in. This is very important because the moon is a highly adaptable and flexible planet. Along with this, you want to see which planets are conjunct with the moon or aspecting to the moon. Also, are there any planets that are hemming the moon? So do you have any planets in the 11th house or the 1st house? This becomes very important to see as well. Along with this, you want to understand that the moon Mahadasha is the most important moment where the moon becomes active in your chart. So if you have not seen my video on the moon Mahadasha Bukhtis, I will leave a link for that above and down below in the description. So what does the moon represent? The moon signifies the mind. It is all about your behavioral patterns, your thoughts, feelings, reactions, responses. And so it's all about your emotional sense, how you are able to adapt and interact with the environment around you. Along with this, the moon represents the fourth house originally of the chart, which is connected to the sign of cancer, all about our connection to our home, mother, country of origin, all of our property, all of the things that make us feel happy, comfortable, and secure. And the moon also is a signifactor of beauty, of good health, and of the balance or the sense of peace within your mind. It's connected to anything that is sentimental. All of your memories and attachments are seen through the moon's influence. So what does the 12th house represent? The 12th house is a very mysterious house. It's the farthest house from the ascendant in the chart. So it represents anything that is foreign or unknown to you, including foreign lands, foreign cultures, foreign people who you're connecting with. Any kind of foreign settlement, foreign travel is all seen through the 12th house, along with things that are foreign to us on a physical level as well. So all of the mysticism, all of the unexplained phenomena of life is all seen through the 12th house. So this is a house of mysticism, of spirituality, of the astral realm, the dream realm, the spirit world, all of this is seen through the 12th house. The 12th house is also a house of isolation. So it's all about any kind of secluded places. Prisons, asylums, hospitals can all be seen through the 12th house. It's also a house of meditation, of deep reflection, contemplation. Any time that you are taking time to spend alone with yourself, even deep research can be seen through the 12th house as well. Along with this, the 12th house is the final resting place because it is the last house in the entire chart. So it also represents your moments after death. Along with this, it represents your actual bed where you go to sleep. So all of your dreams, your subconscious, your imagination is seen through the 12th house. Even the quality of your sleep along with bed pleasure, sexual activity is seen through this 12th house. So this also has a role to play in your relationships as well. So what happens then when the moon comes into the 12th house? Well, this is a very sensitive position for the moon. The moon itself is all about emotions and connecting with people. And this becomes an extremely isolated place for the moon itself. So this can make you more on the introverted side, more so about wanting your privacy, your space to yourself. This can definitely make it very difficult to express yourself to others at times as well. This can make you very much reclusive, very secretive about your emotions in particular. So with this placement, you can definitely keep a lot to yourself. You can come across as someone who's very secretive, mysterious to others, having a difficult time connecting with others. You need some time alone, some time to yourself, some quiet time, some peace to yourself. This becomes very important to you. However, you want to be careful about not getting too disconnected to the world around you because this can also create a sense of loneliness, of isolation, of depression in some cases. Again, you want to see how the moon is placed here. But along with this, you do need that time to yourself to have some peace and quiet because you can find that you are overwhelmed by the insensitivity of everything that is going on within the everyday mundane reality. There's a part of you that is wanting to escape from the mundane world that is wanting to go into this space to yourself. 
And so this is definitely a position that is geared towards liberation, moksha, the final exit from this material world. This can be a huge pursuit for those of you who have moon in the 12th house. Again, you want to see how the moon is placed here, but this can definitely point towards mystics, gurus, anyone who is trying to take a spiritual path of liberation. With the moon here, you can have a very deep subconscious and imagination, very vivid dream life. And this can make you an excellent writer, artist, anyone who is able to take your imagination and inspiration and to express it into a creative outlet. So in particular, I've seen that this is an excellent position for writers with this placement. Along with enhancing your imagination and creativity, this can also enhance your intuition. So you can have really good intuition. You can be even psychic with this placement. You can get into all sorts of occult knowledge, astrology, mystical subjects can be seen. You can be excellent at finding sudden solutions to problems, suddenly getting intuitive insights that help you in life. This can also make you very sensitive to the sufferings of other people. So again, along with this strong intuition, you're very tuned into the subconscious of others around you. You're able to sense how other people are feeling, the struggles that they're going through, and this gives you a great deal of empathy as well. So as this moon is aspecting onto the sixth house, you have a great desire to help others, to serve, to really nurture and care for others. This can make you an excellent healer. And definitely with the moon aspecting onto the sixth house, sometimes this can be related to medical factors as well, getting into research, any sort of mystical professions, anything where you are able to serve others. But again, this is a very private position of the moon. So this may take you into foreign lands serving others or serving others in a way where you're able to work from your own private space can be seen. As the moon aspects onto the sixth house, you also want to be careful about your health as well. This is a very sensitive placement in terms of mental health and even physical health sometimes with this placement also. Because the moon here is in a very sensitive space. So if you find yourself in a negative place in terms of your mindset, in terms of where you are emotionally, this can take a big toll on you. This 12th house is all about losses. So you could find yourself losing your energy with this placement and this can become very exhausting and draining dealing with the mundane factors of life. So this can definitely be a placement where anxiety, depression, all sorts of mental disorders can start to develop. And you definitely want to be careful about any sort of addictions as well, because this is the original home of Pisces back in this 12th house, which is all about our escapism into these addictive habits. So you want to be very careful about this. But also with the moon here, it's a fluctuating factor. So if the moon is placed well, this can also help you to overcome addictions as well. The moon here will definitely get you interested in foreign cultures, foreign locations. This can take you traveling into foreign lands because the moon is constantly shifting and changing, going through its different cycles. So this is a traveling planet also. So definitely this can take you into foreign lands. However, you have to see what's going on with the fourth house of the chart because that really is what is about property, land, home, is that fourth house. So you want to see what is the fourth house doing? What is the fourth lord doing? Doing, how is that all placed in your chart? Is it in a negative position? Is it afflicted? All of this becomes very important to see, along with, of course, the Lord of the 12th house also. Again, it's good to have social connection with this placement because you can find that people can help to support you in your areas where you are giving, where you are making sacrifices, where you're putting your time and energy in. People notice that you are very helpful, very compassionate. So not Naturally, people who you work with or people who you are involved with can step in to try to help you to take some of that burden off of you. And this can definitely help to relieve your stress levels in this area for sure. So this can be very helpful to you. However, if there are afflictions, then you can find that you are dealing with conflicts with other people as well. So you want to see what is the condition of the moon in your chart. 
This also is a great placement for any kind of spiritual practices, meditation, yoga, all of this can help with your health to decrease your stress levels to really bring you into a state of balance and peace in your mind. Another thing with this placement is that this can increase your sexual appetite as well. Again, it depends upon how the moon is placed here, but this can definitely make you very much interested in sexual activity. Your mind can be very focused on relationships with this placement for sure. The moon in the 12th house is also an excellent placement for any kind of entrepreneurial work, anything that you're doing independently. Again, moon here is seeking privacy, seeking seclusion. So anything where you are able to do things on your own, able to manage things on your own, this can be excellent for you if the moon is placed well here especially. This can also impact your relationship with your mother as well because again the moon is all about the connection to the mother so you could find that there's some kind of distance separation a feeling of not getting all of the nourishment that you're seeking from your mother in some cases this can also indicate the loss of a mother for some of you depending upon how the moon is placed but in general this can just show some feeling of separation or detachment in that connection with the mother This can definitely get you interested into all sorts of aliens, other dimensions, metaphysical subjects, all of this comes through with this placement. And the planets that are involved with the moon really make a difference. So for example, if you have K2 with the moon, it's definitely going to enhance your intuition, your connection to spirituality. If Rahu is in here, then it can enhance your desire for foreign travel because Rahu is dealing with everything that is out of the ordinary, everything that is foreign to you. So you want to see what are the planets that are involved? What are the planets that are aspecting and that are in the house with the moon? This will definitely make a difference for you. Sometimes with this placement, it can even show that the mother had some kind of illness, some kind of difficulty. There can be all sorts of addiction, mental health issues, and so on that are seen with this placement. This can also create fluctuations in your relationships sometimes, depending upon how it is placed in the chart. So there can be some sudden situations in your relationships where you're suddenly getting into relationships, suddenly leaving relationships can be seen with this placement for sure. Sometimes this can also show that if you have something to occupy your time with, something to keep you busy as far as your work life, this can help you as well. Sometimes there's a feeling of being lost or confused in your direction, and this can get you stuck into a place of overthinking, of getting lost in thought, which can create more disturbances for you. And because of how the moon is placed here in this 12th house, it can also create feelings of instability within the home environment also. There can be a tendency to want to change locations or to not be sure about if you're in the right location. A lot of fluctuation can be seen here. Also, because the moon is a chart within itself known as the moon chart of the Chandra Lagna, we can turn the moon into the ascendant itself as well. And if we do that, then the sixth house becomes the seventh house of the chart. So that becomes your partner as well. So you could find yourself attracted to a partner who is into the medical field, serving, helping others in some way, even a person in some cases who has issues of their own, who's struggling, who needs your assistance in some way and you can be very nurturing and supportive towards your partner also. With this placement, you can also be very protective of yourself and family members. Again, you have a very nurturing and caring nature about you. But on some level, there is a feeling of loneliness with this, a feeling of not being able to fully expose your emotions or to fully connect with others around you. So with this, again, you want to make sure that you're connected with others and that you have those practices in place that can give you a sense of peace and calmness. And for those of you who have the moon in the 12th house who feel that you're not intuitive, then definitely you want to practice meditation because this will help to enhance your intuition. You definitely have a very strong intuition with the moon placed here. <music> 